Good morning, friends. Welcome back. I am so happy to see you. Are you ready to get started with our Bible story today? Uh, as usual, this is going to be a good one. But first, let's look at our, our story clue and see if it's going to give us a hint about what we can learn from today's story. Do you see this right here? Do you have any idea what that is? That is an invitation. Have you ever gotten an invitation to a party? But what could an invitation have to do with our story today? Hmm. Well, an invitation invites people and God invites us to be his friends. Yes, in our story today, God is going to invite 12 people to be his special friends. Are you ready to listen? Everybody have your listening ears on, paying attention? Here we go. Let's get started. Jesus chose helpers. Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee. He saw fishermen throwing big fish nets into the water, and Jesus called, Peter, Andrew, come, follow me. I'll teach you how to tell people about God. The two men gladly went with Jesus. So what were they doing? They were throwing fish nets out into the sea to catch fish. And when Jesus said, follow me, they did. Jesus walked down the shore. He saw two other fishermen in a boat. I just happen to have a boat here. It's kind of a big boat. So these fishermen were in a boat. And who were these two, I wonder? Jesus said, James and John. Jesus called, come with me. James and John also went with Jesus. Now Jesus had four helpers. <gasps> Is that going to be enough? I don't think so. Later, Jesus saw a man named Matthew. Matthew was working collecting money. Follow me, Matthew, said Jesus. Matthew got up and went with Jesus. Now Jesus had five friends to help him. Let's move our boat out of the way. So how many friends does he have now? He has five friends. Jesus asked more people to follow him. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve helpers. Jesus talked. His 12 helpers, many things about God's love. Jesus' helpers told other people what they had learned about God's love. Wow, these are, God, are Jesus' special helpers. We can see them right here. 12 of them. Some of them were fishermen. Some of them had other jobs. But there, Jesus chose all of them separately. So we, you know, we can be helpers too for Jesus. We can talk about God's love to other people. We can be God's, Jesus' special friends. So how many special friends did Jesus get? Call He called 12 of them. And here's 12. Let's count together. Are you ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 men that Jesus called to be his special team, special friends. He taught them about God, and then it was they were going to come and be his helpers. Well, our Bible verse for this semester is, are you ready? This is my command, love one another as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Let's say it again. This is my command, love one another as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Well, what can we do to remember that? Let's let's say, use it with some actions. This is my command. Love one another as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Isn't that great? Yeah, so God wants us to show love to other people just like he shows love to us. And we can be kind to people. We can invite them to church. We can share all those ways we can show love for one another. What can we, let's get our fishnet out of here right now. And we're going to make a special project, a fishnet. So here we go. If you're going to be in class, or if you're at home, you could write on here, your paper, Jesus invited good friends. We have a boat up here, and we have the net right here, and you can see the water. So what are we going to have to do first? Probably, we would have to color the water. Do I have any blue crayons in here? I have a lot of choices, but do I have blue? Surely do. So we need to have the water colored. Have any of you ever been fishing before? You probably haven't been fishing with a net because that's how these fishermen did. You probably would have gone fishing with a fishing pole. Well, this, I'm just gonna do a little bit of the water. Now, what are we gonna put in this net? Do you see anything in there yet? No. What we're gonna do is we have some fish here. So you can draw some fish, you could glue some um, some fishy crackers in there, or you could cut out some fish like we have done. So I have a couple of some little fish. I'm going to glue them in. 
put them inside the net. These fishermen have caught some fish. And Jesus wants his friends to be like fishermen tell, and catching people and telling them about Jesus. We could even put some of the fish in the water because they have not yet quite gotten caught yet. Let's see what you think of this idea. Jesus invited good friends. And now you can draw them right in here. And we can also color the boat. What color would we color the boat, do you think? Do I have any browns in here? I think I do. So I'm going to color the boat brown, because maybe that's what color it was, made out of wood. Or it could be painted. So Jesus invited good friends. And we can be, we can be God's good friends, too, and tell everybody about Jesus. Do you remember I told you before how to do the sign for Jesus? Jesus loves you and you can tell people that so there's my craft jesus invited good friends what kind of activity we could we do we could do an, a, a fun game you could do it with friends or family all you need are a couple things you could use a cup you could use a party hat turned upside down you could use a bowl but we also need some pom-poms so the idea is we're gonna to try to throw and have them land in there. So one friend is gonna be standing here, one friend there, and they're gonna to work together to try to get the pom-poms in the cup. What do you think? Do you think I can do it? I'll try with a small one first. Ready? Oh, I missed. Let me try again. I hope I get one. Oh no, I dropped the cup. Well, you get the idea. We're gonna keep throwing the pom-poms into the cup until it's time to switch. And then the next, the other person gets to switch and they get to be the one to throw. It's a good fun, Thing to do with friends. So what did we learn today? We saw earlier about the invitation. And we know in our story that Jesus invited some men to be his, his helpers and his good friends. So we're invited to do that too. And we know that God loves us so much and we can tell other people that God loves us too. We can tell them that Jesus loves them by doing Jesus loves you. So Thank you for listening and learning about when Jesus called his 12 disciples to be his special friends. And you can tell people that Jesus loves them too. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Family, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look on you with favor and give you his sweet peace. You are loved.